I've done it. I have set up the camera so that the background is dark, I am correctly exposed, and none of the lights are in the frame. It's a miracle. That said, I can now record the video that I have been trying to set up for for 10 minutes with my phone attached to the wall. How good does this look? I'm so excited about it. Okay, let's get going. So, um, thing I wanted to make a video about today is a thing that I used to do every single morning from like late 2012 all the way through mid 2014 every morning. Now, it adapted and evolved over time. The words are not the same. The message is not the same. Uh, and what I will be reading to you for today's situation was last revised in probably November of 2014. All of 2015, I didn't do it. All of 2016, I haven't done it. Daily practices have been completely different. Uh, but this is a thing that I did every morning for a long time. Uh, that was part of just my morning routine. Um, it is a list of things that I would say to myself to set up my patterns of thought for the day in a healthy way. Because what I learned late in college is that the way you think and the way you talk to yourself have more bearing on how you act and the way the world seems and the things that you're likely to do with your life than any other single variable. So it was important to me to start my day with patterns of thought and with words of encouragement and with ideas that were inspiring and would motivate me to be the best person I thought I could be. So I derived these from questions I asked myself about what kind of person I wanted to be, about what things I believed about myself that I didn't want to be true anymore, about things that I wanted to improve, about qualities that I wanted to have that I didn't have. Uh, and I formatted them using other people's instructions and guides in a way that would make me more like the person I wanted to be. And the main sources of inspiration behind this were uh, the foundation, the, my friend Andy's online course, which was like a, it's like a business building. It is kind of expensive. It's like the cost of a college class, but it was essentially like a how to build a business with no uh, outside investment or debt uh, or idea. <laughs> how to get other people to pay you to build your business eventually. And uh, that's what inspired me to build Lander and what equipped me with the tools to do so. Uh, and then it also helped me sort of form what I was thinking about. Then before the foundation even, there was a book called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself that I read halfway through college, which was really, really helpful. And then there's probably also stuff in like How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is by Dale Carnegie. Terrible title, great book. Uh, etc. and so on. So with that three minute long introduction, I'm going to read this document to you. This is what I read to myself every morning for two years, or some variation of it. Uh, and I hope that it will get you thinking about what kind of things you'd want to say to yourself every morning. Or maybe you already do, or you know. And if, if as you listen to this, you, you begin thinking thoughts like that, I also want you to think about what sort of things you say to yourself now. That like, if a friend said those things to you, you wouldn't be friends with them. Uh, I know a lot of people, myself included, who say very, very disheartening things to themselves who are super discouraging, who are incredibly mean when they mess up or when they make a mistake or when they don't meet the goals they set for themselves. Whereas, you know, a good friend would be like, listen, it's okay. Like, people make mistakes. You gotta love yourself. Sometimes we don't even give ourselves that space. And so, Learning to treat yourself like your best friend instead of like someone that you hold to an unrealistically high standard is one of the great, uh, one of the greatest, most freeing, most wonderful things I think you can do for yourself in life. Uh, and so this document helped me more than anything else treat myself like my best friend instead of an unrealistically idealized version of myself. So here's what it looks like. It's just one page and then another page. It starts with this really big good morning <laughs> and uh, goes on from there. And it's color coded in a way that I thought was pretty uh, and I liked to look at every morning. And the colors have to do with sort of the themes. So I don't know, I could dive into that, but it really doesn't matter. But you can sort of put it together for yourself. There's 
Oh, the exposure is locked, so you can't actually put it together for yourself. <laughs> you can't see it unless I hold it sideways and it's slightly less bright. But you get the idea, color-coded, right? So, uh, I'll just read it to you, how I'd read it to myself every morning. I read it out loud too, which is kind of weird, but like, it really, the it's crazy how the things that you say to yourself the first thing in the morning will echo through your mind the rest of the day and will really set the tone for the day. Uh, and I actually just did this upstairs and I was like, this would make a great video, let's do it. And then I got distracted setting up the camera and the lighting and, you know, it's very me. Okay, anyway. Sorry for the five minute intro. Here we go. Good morning. Today is already awesome. Here's how I'm going to make it outstanding. I'm going to have fun collaboratively organizing and researching well-designed solutions to make the world better. That's like my overall mission statement. That's just like the thing that I'm about, generally. Uh, those are the things that I like to do and that inspire and motivate me every day. Uh, and then I just get into some like more detailed stuff here. So like that's the opening statement. I love that. And you should have one that you love. Uh, okay. I love waking up early. It says at 4 a.m. here, which was true for a lot of the time I was in college. I love waking up at 4 a.m., but even if I sleep in, I make the most of the time I have, no matter when I wake up. I focus on starting, not on accomplishing goals. I never set big goals. I set small, silly goals. I fail fast, and I learn from each mistake. I enjoy meditating and being mindful, and I write about anything I want to write about. I'm always learning. I read daily, I write daily, and I deal with emails when I get them. I'm a perpetually learning and growing self-educator. I will actively and happily pursue my goals to further my own financial, social, and intellectual independence. I do things before I think I'm ready. I am taken seriously, but I never take myself seriously. I do the best I can in everything I do. I'm always focused on figuring out better ways to serve everyone around me. I enthusiastically start my mini habits and small goals, small productive goals each day. I'm always open to new possibilities. I never stop finding better questions to ask. I take my own questions seriously and answer them carefully and honestly. I love genuinely, listen effortfully, and consider seriously, especially when it's not easy or convenient. I'm outgoing and confident. I love saying hi to new people. I never hesitate to meet a stranger. I like to talk to everyone I see. I go where I do not belong and I ask questions. I have a great attitude and a magnetic personality. People love to be around me. Now, mind you, when I wrote all of this, none of it was true. Like, the very reason that it's on this page is because it wasn't true. Like, by definition, all of these things are on this page because they weren't how I was. Like, demonstrably, none of these were true. And so, the fact that as I read through this, three years later, three years after I put most of the things on this page, and many of them are like, people would hear them and be like, it's not, I mean, yeah, those are things. Why are you saying those out loud to yourselves? Uh... And a lot of them, I'm like, oh yeah, I do that every day. Without thinking about it, without having to read it to myself, like, it's just, it's how I live my life now. It's really nice. I'm going to keep reading. Um, I know who I am. I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm enthusiastic, confident, and humble. I am an enthusiastic, confident, and humble servant to everyone I meet. Uh, wherever I am, I belong. I respect service more than fame. Uh, that last one, there's a specific story to that, and I don't remember it. But I remember that there was a specific moment where I was like, you know what, I should put I respect service more than fame on this document because I think that's an important thing for me to do in my life. I think that people who serve others should be respected more highly than people who are just famous. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, not always true. Um, it's not always true that we respect people that way. The greatest servants are all, often not the most respected. Anyway, uh, total tangent. Uh, next is like health related. So all the different colored sections, we've gotten through actual things that I do, things that I think about learning, things that I think about things that I disagree with, things that I think about myself and who I am. Now we're into like health. So 
I love being interrupted. I'm able to quickly redirect my full attention. I stay lighthearted even when confronted. I don't tolerate unhelpful negativity in my mind or in my friends' minds. I live every moment of life to the fullest. I pursue adventure in every possible way and I rock at spontaneous activities. People I love and adventures that make me grow come before productivity. And then I have myself answer four or five questions out loud. I probably won't answer the questions for you, but I will read them. Uh, answer these honestly and out loud. It says here, what did I learn from yesterday? How did, how am I going to apply that to today? So many notification sounds, I'm sorry. Um, why do I like what I'm planning to do today? Would I not just be okay with, but enthusiastic about my plan for today if it was the last day I ever got to live? I love that question because every single day I'd be like, yeah, but I would probably also do this thing. Like literally just this morning, my parents are on vacation right now. I literally just this morning, I read that question. I was like, yeah, except I would probably also call my parents. <laughs> So I will probably do that today as a result of asking myself that question in the morning. And otherwise I wouldn't have thought of that on my own, which kind of makes me a terrible son, but that's why I have these is because you, you don't know when that last day is going to be and making sure that you've accounted for like, Hey, this could be it. Did I do all the things? Did I tell the people I love that I love them? Do people know that I appreciate them and respect them and am impressed and inspired by them? Do they know that I care about them? All those things are worth taking care of every single day of your life. You can never tell people you love them too much. Okay. Hmm. Then the little end part here with all the colors, that is what we're reading now. I choose how to spend my time based on what I've promised to others and then based on my own goals and aspirations. But I take my own goals just as seriously as my obligations to friends. Each day I fail fast, iterate, review, and improve. And I have fun along the way. I always... <laughs> I am always learning from failure and setting silly, small goals. Because those are the ones that actually get done. Okay. I never procrastinate on my own goals or on plans that I've made with other people. Uh, neither of those was true when I wrote this. Now both of them are more often true than not. I choose the appropriate attitude for each moment of the day. I would underline and, and italicize choose there. I think that it's very important that you can choose the attitude that you have each moment of every day. It's a very powerful thing to know. I do not expect, I appreciate. So this is what the second page looks like. We're here. I do not expect, I appreciate. I have no right to be disappointed or offended and doing so is a waste. I am slow to reward myself because working is fun uh, and I'm respectful of everyone's time, especially my own. I'm always genuine and vulnerable. I do my best at whatever I do. I do not endure unpleasant work for expected results. I do only what is worth doing for its own sake. I stop when I'm not having fun. This speaks especially to big projects. I think those last four lines, because uh, it's very dangerous to dry, dive into something expecting a certain outcome, especially if you don't enjoy it and then inevitably not get that outcome. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, then it just asks, why? Why all this stuff? Because I love to discover the unknown through research, master complexity through organization. I have a blast discussing and refining generous, loving, and responsible ways to solve the world's most interesting problems. I come alive when I get to share in epic stories and create awesome experiences for others. And then it ends with this little, like, here's what I'm going to do now. Today, I will joyfully combine the smart use of willpower and many habits to start my work which kind of implies that I'm not going to worry about finishing it. I'm just going to make sure I start every day. Finishing will worry about itself. I will have fun and focus on service to others no matter how the day pans out. And that's it. I'd read that every morning. And that would set my tone for the day so that no matter when I woke up, I'd be in a good mood. I would immediately start work on stuff that I enjoyed and mattered and was important or that I owed to other people. And then I would, when inevitably interrupted by the day and how things go, uh, have a good attitude about it. I wouldn't get down about not getting stuff done. I would always enthusiastically approach meeting new people and having new unexpected opportunities and be ready fully to take advantage of them. And I think that those specific attitudes and changes in my own practice have more than changed my life. They have made me who I am today. I would not be 
doing what I'm doing with the people I'm doing it with, where I am in the world, and have had all the incredible opportunities, a lot of which you've been on the ride along with me for, were it not for setting those attitudes and intentions two years ago, three years ago, and having those be like subconsciously parts of who I am now. Now, there's still some stuff on there that like I'm not great at, that I still need to work on, especially stuff that was added toward the end of 2014 that's like more recent. Uh, and I want to get into a practice like that again, uh, because I think it was really, really good for making me a better person. And I think that I'm kind of worn out with who I am lately. Like, I have not made huge, substantial changes in my own social skills and uh, things I've learned recently. And, you know, I really need to take my own personal self-development and learning into my own hands in a way that I haven't in as purposeful a way since 2014. So, uh, this is half video to myself, reminding me of the importance of doing this sort of thing, and half video to you to tell you about one of my favorite practices that I used to do every day, and that I probably should again. Uh, I hope it was inspiring and made you think, and was fun to watch. Uh, I loved making it. Thanks for watching all this. I know it's been kind of talky and kind of long, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you in the next video, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching.